Hey everybody, it's Paul from Paul Kelly Golf. Are you absolutely sick of this weather yet? Are you one of the people that keeps on saying this has got to be the worst summer ever? Well, let's have a look because this is not the worst summer ever. As a matter of fact, it's not even the worst summer recently. It's Newfoundland, it's May, it's always this bad. So let's have a look at some stats so that people can stop thinking we're losing this summer. Last summer was exactly the same and it ended up being the best summer on record. So let's not get discouraged. Lots of golf to come yet. So if you go into Environment Canada's website, they have a historical weather link and it lets you pull up month by month, year by year and see all of the stats. And if we go back and look, we will see, no, this is not unusually bad. This is just regular bad, regular bad for Newfoundland in May. It's not fit to live here in May. However, good stuff is coming. So one of the stats that is the best thing to identify weather is the mean temperature. And the mean temperature is the average of the high and the low for a specific time, so such as a day. So if it's 15 degrees high, five degrees low, the mean temperature would be 10 degrees. And if we look at the mean temperature from month to month, year to year for May, it fluctuates less than a degree over the past three years. So this year is horrible, last year was horrible. The year before that was horrible also. Then we can look at a category that tells a great story and it's heating degree days. So heating degree days is a basic function of how much heat would you have to add in order to make the temperature a mean 18 degrees. So basically it's room temperature. So if you have a mean temperature of 10 degrees during the day, then you would need eight heating degrees to bring it up to 18. So when we look through from year to year to year to May, you can see it's almost the exact same the past three years. The cooling days, well, we didn't need any. Out of three years, we had one day where we needed to cool it off to bring it down to 18. So one day in three months over three years. So this is not an unusual thing. And if you look at the precipitation, we're right on par with last year and a little bit better or a little bit worse than any other year. So once again, this is just a horrible place to live in May. So don't worry about your golf. Don't think we're losing the season. You lost it every year in May and it's gonna come back. And last year was absolutely off the charts fantastic. And let's pray that this is too. I'm Paul Kelly. Thanks for watching.